Japanese people don't know how to keep secrets. So if you don't want them to, if you don't want everybody to know about you or to know about what you tell, you told a colleague, be it at the job site or at school, then you better keep it to yourself. To them, it's being open, but to us, it's gossip. So if you know something about yourself or you have something about yourself, you just want to tell a friend, know that you are not telling just a friend. Everybody will know about it. News flash so much in Japan. Something might happen here in Osaka. The next minute, everybody has known it in Tokyo. That's how it is in Japan. News flash a lot. And the Japanese people don't know how to keep secret. Yeah, you tell someone something about you, the next day you come at work, everybody will be asking you about that thing. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Berry Talk Show. If it's your first time stumbling on my video, you are welcome. You stumbled, you stumbled upon my video because you are supposed to subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. And why not like, comment, and don't forget to turn on your notification button. So whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first person to get a notification. And for all that has been supporting me right off from the very beginning of this journey thank you all so much for your unconditional love from the bottom of my heart i say thank you thank you thank you for your support it's your support that's still keeping me here that's still giving me that courage to keep pushing to keep making videos thank you all so in today's video we will be talking about some tips we need to know about japan if you are out there you are planning to travel to japan as a business person as a tourist anything as a student in whatsoever way you want to track you want to come to japan this video is for you these are some tips we need to know or you need to know about japan before coming into the country japan firstly if you are still in your home country and you have plans of coming please learn the basic level of japanese it's very important and very necessary it will ease your day-to-day -day communication and day-to-day -day activity so if you are out there you are planning to come to japan please even download basic japanese level so you can be studying at home or whatsoever means you want to use in studying is very important we never knew about this what i'm telling you today please learn basic level of japanese one more thing if you're out there planning of coming to japan please make sure you know how the greek people in japan how the japanese people greet We're back home in africa on other continent maybe we greet by shaking hands but in japan they don't greet by shaking hands if you see somebody in the morning you greet by bowing your head for instance if you see someone in the morning in japanese culture you say ohayo gozaimasu which means good morning if you see someone in the afternoon konnichiwa konnichiwa which means hello or good afternoon in the evening you see someone you greet by saying konbawa konbawa that's how the japanese people greet that's their culture that's their tradition maybe back home in our country we greet by shaking hands or by giving an embrace but here in japan is the reverse they greet by burying their head i believe you have learned one more or one new thing about the japanese people you never knew about them one more thing about japanese people that you need to learn is japanese people they don't enter with shoes in the house no if you open the door and you get in there is a section in which they keep their shoes you don't cross with your shoes from the door the two believe in indoor shoes immediately as you enter you take off your shoes there are slippers there are other shoes that are light that they walk in they walk with inside so they don't enter with shoes they don't cross with shoes from the door that's japanese culture that's their way of life that's their tradition so if you are planning of coming to japan i believe you have learned something new today japanese people don't cross with shoes from the door by coming with it into the living room or into the bedrooms no it ends at the door that's japanese for us so if you are coming to japan make sure you have your indoor shoes in your bag wherever you go to your indoor shoes should be there for instance if i'm taking the kids to school my indoor shoe is always in my bag it can you just need something light something that is not heavy that can spoil the floor so they don't enter with shoes in the house from japan you don't cross with your shoes from the door one more thing about japanese people they love putting on socks a lot that's why you hardly see a japanese person with a slippers or with a sandals no the two believe in socks if they see you as a foreigner putting on sandals without a socks or putting on slippers without a sock seeing your bare feet it's so difficult for them it's so hard it's like it's so strange it's uncultured for them so a lot of them you see someone if you even see the few ones that will decide to put on slippers they must wear socks that's their tradition they too believe on not showing their bare legs i for one as a foreigner i don't care 
So whenever I put on slippers to take the kids to school to go somewhere, before I enter their school, I have to put on my socks. We are bound to copy some of those their culture because we are living in their country. If they see you without socks, it's like it doesn't sound really good to them. It's so awful to them. So if you are planning to come to Japan, please, please learn some of their cultures, learn some of their way of life. To us, it might be normal, but to them, it's not normal. And since we are living in that country, we are bound to adapt or to copy some of their culture so we can move, we can we can walk hand in hand or we can live in peace or not like, they might not say anything, but at least we have to do things that please them also. One more thing about Japanese people, a lot of them don't speak English. Yeah. So in 100 Japanese people that you meet, maybe you will not even be opportunity to even meet one that speaks English. So you might feel the type when you like, maybe you need direction, you need help from someone and you decide to stop them to help you. They won't understand. They will say, wakaranai. Wakaranai means, I don't know. And they won't even give you the chance to explain more, to ask more. They will just start going. Don't feel bad. That's Japan for us. That's their way of life. And we are used to it. So if you're out there, maybe you, want, you will stop a Japanese somebody, a Japanese person someday to ask for a direction or to ask a train station, a bus stop, and so on and so forth. And the person says, what can I not? Or the shiver. At times, you will even stop somebody to ask a person. They will just, like, when they see, they see you, they will shiver out. They will start going so fast. That's them for us. We are used to. One more thing about Japanese people. Japanese people are so shy. They are very shy. Yeah. You might stop somebody. The person will just like bend the head and he or she will move. That's how they are. Don't feel bad. I'm giving some of these tips. So in case you come to Japan tomorrow in the future and maybe you feel you have some of these experiences, don't feel bad. You will remember one blogger or one YouTuber made mention about the Japanese people their culture and their way of life so japanese people are so shy you might stop somebody the person will see you very well but he or she will just bend the head and the person will move they are so shy one more thing about japanese people that i would like us to know about is japanese people they observe a lot before they make friends they make they decide to come closer to you know they have been observing you from a distance you might be living in the same apartment with them living in the same yard with them you mean living in the same mansion with them or even attending the same school with them or whatsoever you are you, you are living in their country it means in one way or the other you must be mingling up with them they might see you in the morning they won't greet you they won't say anything you think if you feel like they don't know you exist they know very well you exist you might even greet them they won't answer that's how japanese people behave but they are monitoring you you might cross with them bypass with them you greet even your neighbor the person won't answer but you see immediately you turn behind you come in contact with the person noticing that the person is like observing you even when you go somewhere like in the hospital you greet them maybe you are talking to this person on the bench the other person is there walking think that the person is writing something but he or she is looking at you he is looking at you or she is looking at you. That is how they are. They observe a lot. Before, they will allow you to come to their house or they will allow you to even make friends with them. No, they have been observing you for quite some time. No, they have known a lot about you before. They will give you that space for you to come close to them. Yeah, that's how Japanese people are. They are not too open, especially if it comes to foreigners. They don't just like give you an imprint or they don't just like open their hands to you for you to just come in. No, they observe you a lot. You will see the one that you are, maybe you are friends with. You think that maybe you just met him or her and she just gave you an open hand or an open hand for you to come and be friends with him or her. No, know that this particular person has been seeing you and he or she has been observing you for quite some time. It's like they have given you a tip before allowing you to come close to them. That's how Japan is. And one more thing about Japanese people is they don't believe in tips. Like you might go to a hotel, you're working in a hotel, maybe somebody will launch in and the person, the customer might give you a tip or you might be working in a restaurant, but the person might give you a tip or you might help somebody to give direction or in one way or the other, you help somebody at the job site and you decide to give the person a tip. It is wrong in Japan. They don't give tips. They don't believe in tips. It's like bribing somebody. They believe whatsoever work you are doing in that restaurant in that school you are being paid for it's your job even if you go extra mile for someone in school or whatsoever situation it's your job and you are being paid for so never you give somebody a tip in japan 
they believe is bribery but to us back home or to other countries it is very normal they believe it's like you're appreciating somebody for an extra work or an extra job in japan even if you go an extra mile doing your job they won't see it or they won't see it like an extra something because they believe you are being paid for that job that you are doing so as i said you don't give tips in japan if someone does something good for you an extra work for you thank you is enough for them arigato gozaimasu is enough which means thank you in japan does it don't go extra mile to give the person tips no it is wrong one more thing about japan people japanese people that we need to learn if someone invites you for lunch maybe you have a japanese friend be it a boy or a girl and the person tells you let's go for lunch date let's go for dinner please make sure you put your money in your pocket let's go get a cup of coffee let's go uh, grab a cup of beer a glass of beer put your money in your pocket you uh, you eat and you pay for your food that is how it is in japan yeah <laughs> if not back home that we know that if somebody invites you for something for maybe for a date maybe for lunch for coffee for glass of juice for a glass of smoothie you know the person will like definitely pay but here in japan it is not like that if you are going out with somebody be it your colleague make sure you put your money in your pocket you order for what you have you order what you order you pay for it except the person decides to pay but don't expect the person to pay without the person opting to pay no always opt to pay for your food and the person to like say i will pay and always insist you will pay that is how it is in japan so don't think that maybe you are going out with somebody you go, you go with an empty an empty pocket or an empty hand thinking that the person will pay for your food no except you are really close to that person that is how it is in japan you go for a date with someone you put your money in your pocket so i've said a lot of things concerning japanese people that we need to know as foreigners or if you want to come to japan firstly learn the basic level of japanese how the japanese people greet they don't enter with shoes they love putting on socks they are very shy they observe from a distance and you pay for what you eat so i believe in one way or the other you have learned something about japanese people that you never knew and if you have watched this video right up to this very end why not give it a thumb up and please don't forget to add your contribution if you know a lot of things i haven't said about the japanese people because i don't know or we are learning we are living in a foreign country and nobody knows or if you have something to add about the japanese people why not leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to always to subscribe why not invite somebody to come join the family and please 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 turn on your notification button so whenever i upload a video you'll be the first person to get a notification thank you all for watching have a blessed evening have a blessed morning have a blessed night whatsoever time you might stumble on my video thank you thank you thank you thank you see you in my next video have a nice time have a nice time bye 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 bye